When we look at the smartphone camera, where it came from, where it is today and where it's headed, probably not even the guys making it realized how much this was going to change the way we see the world around us. Instagram influencers are all byproducts of the smartphone camera. In this episode, we are going to talk about the past, the present and the future of the smartphone camera. Sharp came up with the first camera phone in 2000 and the built-in camera was capable of doing 0.35 megapixel. Then came the Sanyo 5300 in 2002 and it could capture images up to 640 into 480 pixels. It was in 2005 that the actual smartphone revolution began. It was the Nokia N90 which came with a 2 megapixel camera and it had Carl Zeiss optics along with autofocus and an LED flash. This would change the smartphone photography game forever. According to a smartphone survey in 2014, 92% of people were just buying their smartphones based on its camera performance. This started a war between smartphone makers all over the world and the race to ace the smartphone camera began. Millions of dollars were being invested in smartphone camera R&D, which meant innovation. Front-facing cameras for selfie, dual camera setups, portrait mode, ultra-wide lens, HDR, low-light photography, triple camera setups. Every picture became sharper and sharper. So every time you touch that shutter button, there are multiple processes that happen in the background to give you that perfect shot. To understand the same better, we went to OnePlus's camera R&D lab in Taipei, China. Where we'll get to understand that what is it that actually goes on inside making a smartphone camera in 2019. Okay, so I've got Ivan with us over here, who is an IQ engineer at the camera lab at OnePlus. He's going to walk us through inside the camera lab and show us what all goes into making a smartphone camera. Introduce our reflective uh, camera lab first. Generate different lighting shows to simulate the real world. And here is our reflective uh, test chart, which help us to improve our image quality. Okay. And, uh, so this is for the exposure, most of it. This is for exposure, uh, color temperature, okay. and, uh, auto focus. Auto -focus. Basically, all of the 3A function. So okay. here is the LED lighting. We ensure our exposure time is 100% correctly. Environment help us to generate very very high dynamic range, simulate to the real world. Even yeah. Again, this I cannot reach this. One of the most in the best lab in Asia area. Oh, okay. So our test can be finished by robot arm. So it can generate around 1800 test results okay. every day. So it's a very state of the art laboratory you've got in here. Yeah, it's quite important. Okay, so we've got Gary with us, who's an automation engineer over here, and he's going to explain what's going on with so many of these phones at the same time. Gary, over to you. In order to uh, ensure our camera software quality is qualified for each wrong version. Okay. Yeah. This, this area is providing stability, functionality, and Google test suite for Google certification. All right, so where does this leave us? The smartphone camera has come a long way since its inception and brands like OnePlus are investing heavily to shape the future of the smartphone photography. The day when a smartphone camera actually replaces a proper DSLR is not that far. This is Konak Jagi from Mashable India. Stay tuned for the next episode of Mashable Explains.